Right, well, there's already no envelopes to start fishing, so I'm just going to leave my money in the box with a little note. I'm here. Not fished that for nearly 20 years now. There's three lakes in this one place, and they're all old farm lakes. One here used to be the Match Lake. Um, the one in front of me here is the main carp lake, and then beyond that, there was another Match Lake. Um, I hadn't fished here in a long time, and I hadn't forgotten about it, but hadn't. I hadn't thought to come back. I thought it kind of been left to um, left to ruin, really, until I spoke to a friend um, about a year and a half ago who said they'd put an otter fence around it. Um, but no one ever fishes here. Back in the day, it used to have fish to low twenties, I think, about twenty-two pounds. Um, but there were loads of low doubles, high singles, um, and that was twenty years ago. I know it's not been fished much, so they anything that's left in it won't be massive but it's going to be a real surprise so yeah I'm down here today just for a day session because you can only do days here um, and I, I can't wait to see what we what we produce my brother's joining me in a little bit I'm running a bit late um, due to being in Whitby and then being behind the rest of the world in terms of opening times for petrol stations so when I set off at half five this morning I couldn't get petrol so I had to wait until six o'clock but we're here now it's coming at quarter past seven and um, I for one cannot wait so let's get the kit out of the van I'm gonna then push around try and find some fish and we'll go from there Bubblers, oh, looks with tench. Um, let's go and have a look. So, I think this place might be a bit of a hidden secret because I'll get the zoom lens on it later on when I have the GoPro, but just have to tip it out of there. There's a spot hanging off. <laughs> so, that's a good sign already. There's tench sheeting up everywhere. So, that could become a bit of a pain in the ass later on. But, I mean, this is beautiful. Back in the day, this always used to be um, a lake where the island was the main feature. So, guys would fish tight up to that island. Um, and then also, on either end of the lake, um, down, down in the margins. So, don't think the tactics are going to change too much. Um, I'm going to try and stay mobile today. I haven't seen any fish showing yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick out a couple of uh, favourite solid bags um, with bits of the uh, allergy and cracking pink and yellow corn on it, and we'll see how we get on. So there's definitely carp anglers fishing there. Um, if the spawn wasn't evidence enough, then uh, this old fox camo light. Um, Instruction manual that I just found on the ground, which is sodden but not that old, um, definitely shows that there is. So I think there might be something worth fishing for in here. Um, just had another walk around the lake, and uh, I'm not seeing anything, but it's looking carpy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set myself up on this side of the, the island because it seems the most fishable. Um, I'm going to put myself here and that way I can hit the middle of the island on my left and then the end of the island on my right. When my brother gets here, he'll be down from me and then he's got the left hand side all to play with himself. So I don't think we're going to have any other anglers showing up today. So I think we're going to just try and split the lake in half and see how we go.
Well, we're into fish number one of the day. Literally just setting the rods up. And uh, yeah, it zoomed off um, before I'd even turned the alarm on. So, it doesn't feel spectacular, but it's certainly just giving us a good run around there. Wonder what we've got. I literally. Not massive, but it is a fish. And I wonder when the last time this one was caught. I'm just gonna come down here because there's nowhere really that suitable for me to um, to land them. But I mean, I don't even think this is in double figures, if I'm totally honest. Here she comes, slowly, slowly. This was just on a uh, solid bag with a bit of fake corn. Well, it's not the worst fish in the world. I was not expecting that so quickly. Tried taking me right under the snags under the trees that you can see on the far side there. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean the clutch just went into meltdown. Um, really wasn't expecting that. Really wasn't expecting that. I'm not even sure what the time is now. It's probably half eight, getting on towards nine o'clock. Um, still no sign of my brother, despite him saying he'd be here just after me this morning. But you know what? Looking at this, it's him that's missing out, not me. Yeah. Result. <laughs> right, what have we got? You know what? That's a bad fish. That's really not a bad fish, actually, for here. Yeah? Let's get her out and have a look. Well, what an early surprise that was. Um, got a lovely lean common looking quite down in weight but it's probably to be expected as this place isn't really fished that much um came to a little solid bag actually um but i just flicked out to the island as i said i was going to a little bit of fake corn in it and some pellet and uh off she pops and uh yeah there's no awards for the prettiest looking carp or like a an absolute banger but she's pristine nonetheless um i'd say High singles, maybe low doubles, even if we're lucky. But I mean, I really don't care. I wasn't sure what I was going to find in this lake. Um, and the fact that we found something and we're now onto, onto the fish makes me all the happier that it was uh, a good decision to come down here. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing with this one. I, uh, I wasn't expecting it. Literally, as the rod was being set up, um, just got it on the buzzers, put in the bobbin on, hadn't even turned the alarm on, and then the clutch started fizzing away. Um, which was a lovely surprise. Um, tried getting me into the weeds as best he could and into the overhanging trees on the far side there, but fortunately, mate, today just wasn't your day. Um, so we'll get it back now and uh, get that rod back out again. Still waiting for my brother to show up. Don't know where he is, but he's missing out on all the action, which uh, is fine by me. It means more for me. Right then, let's get it back. Go. He was just getting his first tee of the day ready, weren't you? Yeah. And uh built my tea. Absolute ripper. Tea's gone everywhere. <laughs> Does it feel tiny? Yeah. <laughs> nice comment that. Mm -hmm. Nearly. 
There we go. Oh, mate, that's a lovely fish. No. No, 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 no. You've pulled it over the wrong side of it. Go on. <laughs> so, he's been a uh, 20 minutes, turned up late, and uh, straight into one. Yeah. Uh, 12, 13 pounds yeah. on a solid bag. Lovely job. Hold her up a bit for higher. It's easy when you know how, isn't it? <laughs> There's a first for everything. So you're moving down to my peg now. <laughs> right. You ready? <laughs> Bit of a mission, this, isn't it? <laughs> There she goes. There she goes. Gee. <laughs> card in the GoPro, forgot my net, and whilst we were messing around trying to get the GoPro fixed, it came off, so it wasn't great, but it had only been in the water a few minutes. How long do you reckon it had been in the water, Matt? How long do you reckon it had been in for? Yeah, so it's looking good, looking good for a bite. I'm hoping we get into like a nice mirror, a couple of mirrors or something like that, that'd be good. But. I do think the majority of them are all common copper there from memory. So both fish for me have come to um, white allergy um, allergy pop-ups that I've got trimmed down as wafters. Um, and the bellies have come to he fishes CC more and they've both come to CC more wafters orange ones, so white's doing the business for me, orange is doing the business for me. Second fish then? Yeah. What was this one on? Uh, Northern Special, Orange mm. Rian. Pristine. Not a scale missing. And mouth on it as well. Feisty. Straight towards me, it's still loads, loads of energy. <laughs> there you go. You go and get her up. Fins up. Fins up. She's angry. Beautiful fish. Can you just hold us a bit more for the camera? Oh, look at that! What a fish! Just lift the head up a bit more and drop the, the tail. Yeah, I love it. So I think this is a fish that is not been stocked, but is a natural spawned right. from the lake. I think... This fish here, I just moved down to um, to get close to that weed bed, and it had been really quiet. And your rod's gone off, wasn't it? You had a had a bream, and then this, and this is this is the fish of the day. I mean, I'll get get some close-up shots of it, but its lips are so orange, and it's just 
Oh, what a fish, man. It's in absolute pristine condition. When, what's 13 pounds? Yeah. Just over. Look at that. That torpedo. Absolute torpedo. Just hold her up a bit. Like that. Yeah. And drop the tail. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that was a stunner, wasn't it? I mean, it is a stunner. Let me get some close up shots. Yeah. I can't get over the colour of his lips. Well, that was carnage. And to be honest, if that's the final fish that we end the session on today, I won't be upset. It would have been nice for me to put a few more fish on the bank, but we've still got plenty of time. As I said on that last um, video with the fish there, um, I've moved further down the bank so that I can get to this weed bed. I've put my right hand rod just on the left hand edge of it, which you'll just be able to pick out and uh, I'm already getting liners, as you can hear, on here. Um, I'm gonna stay a bit longer than my brother. I would like to get into them. Um, these commons are just ridiculous. I think what's happened is these are the old stock that have spawned, and these are the spawn of those old stock, and because not many people fish here that I'm aware of, they're just in pristine condition, so I'd love to get one more on the bank. Uh, one of those commons would be amazing. Um, even better would be a mirror, but we've still got it all to play for. Left hand rod's on the corner of the island where it has been all day, which is my banker. Right hand rod, weed bed with a solid bag. So bring on the carp. Well, um, that is on the final pack down now. Literally just got the rods left in the water. Um, got to put these last bits on the barrow, but that's us for the session. It's been a good session. Turns out that carp, unless the rods go off in the dying seconds, um, that last carp was the final one, so definitely going to be coming back here. Um, going to try and keep the location as secret as possible. Those guys that watch the channel, you might know where it is. Awesome. Apart from that, I won't be naming it, but I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Uh, next time you see me, we'll be in Parco del Brenta, Italy, where I'll be fishing with um, my good friend Ben and then Ridge Monkeys, uh, Jay Cater. So we've got two weeks, a week on Parco and then a... Um, week on Carp World which is a new lake to all three of us and I really really can't wait so if you've enjoyed this video please remember to like share and subscribe um, also comment it helps that YouTube algorithm going and if you're on the bank tight lines and wet nets and I'll see you in the future